boys and girls welcome and happy new year so today we are changing up the normal vlog type we are going to be doing a uh, how to wax your your snowboard especially if it looks like this this is uh, definitely been long overdue to get some wax on this thing I mean this board don't get me wrong this board is awful but you guys can see the snow behind me we just had like a foot and a half of snow um, roads are awful and uh, there's not much car stuff we can do right now, especially without a garage. So that's why we're going to be doing this today. So I'm going to show you guys a little uh, how to uh, wax your snowboard, keep it a little different. And I will also have some vlog footage from your boy Michael down in Japan for the New Year. So first things first, we are going to start by loosening our binding screws just a little bit. Apparently this is a uh, big first step. Helps uh, limit getting rid of uh, divots in the... Uh, back of the board something to do with you know the wax and, and everything so we're just gonna come in here take a little bit of pressure off these bad boys these bindings have seen some better days too but that's okay that's why uh, we're working with what we got probably be going down to uh, Loveland or Winter Park or even copper at some point come this spring the uh, passes are incredibly expensive and so are the uh, season passes so we're just dealing with what we got but flip this bad boy over and let's get this let's get this looking new again so for today's episode we're going to be using a Dekine all temp wax and a Dekine scraper I totally forgot to grab a base cleaner so we're just going to be using uh, just a glass cleaner just to get rid of some of this debris but while I have the iron heating up um, it's it's pretty pretty hard to tell, but there are uh, lots of grooves, scrapes. This is my every year board powder, dry weather, all the above. So I definitely uh, eat this thing up a little bit. So we're gonna start by doing a hot scrape. Um, I've never waxed a snowboard, but it's very simple from what I saw. Big first thing that I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna be kind of heating this whole thing up, coming over with the scraper, just trying to get rid of some of these really bad grooves, edges. Then we're gonna come back in with the fresh, the fresh wax and get this thing looking brand new again. And before we jump into this, please use an old iron like this. Um, you don't want to be ironing your clothes after you use this wax, because it will ruin your clothes. So let's get started. So I'm doing what I can for the grooves. Um, they're way past the wax and actually into the bottom of the board. So maybe when I'm doing the wax fill, I'll be able to maybe fill them up a little bit with some wax. Um, honestly, the wax is the best with just a very thin layer on the board itself. Um, so I'm just gonna do what I can to kind of maybe fill those, you know, crevices and then, you know, just scrape off whatever's on top, but try to make this thing, uh, you know, nice and level again. So now I'm going to break out the wax and start getting to this process. Um, this is just an all temp, 18 to 28 degrees is the best for this. Will work in colder, will work in warmer, but if you guys are in a very frigid area, five to 20 degrees or very warm area, 26 to 32, they got different temperatures for wax, but we're, uh, we're more of an all weather kind of place. So this is gonna be the best for my use. And it is now time for the fun part where we, uh start dripping our wax all over this board. You don't want it to be smoking. So just make sure uh, you're trying to spread it out nice and evenly. I think I might have to turn down my iron just a little bit. It seems a little bit too hot for this wax, but you just want nice drops, drip it around, try to get close to the sides too, get that front. You just want to spread out a nice, good amount throughout the whole board. With this board not having a tune-up in a very long time, I probably have no wax left on this board, so I'm gonna go a little bit heftier on this. Um, like I said, a thin layer is gonna be the best, but never hurts to kind of do it too much on the first run. You can always scrape off the excess and then I'll show you guys the next part to this from what I saw. Like I said, this is my first time waxing the board, so I'm on the same page with most of you guys, but don't be afraid to try it. That's all I'm saying. All you, uh, all you pro snowboarders watching this, yeah, tell me I'm a fool. This is way too much wax. That's okay. Like I said, I've never done this before, guys. 
Let's make it, let's make it cool. All right, I just let my iron cool down a little bit. It was just a little hot, uh, helped drip everything, but now it's time to start spreading everything out. So it's kind of like ironing clothes from what I was reading, but now we're just going to come in here and actually start trying to spread the wax all over the board. Get it to, you know, all the sides, all the corners. We're just coming back in, smoothing everything out, not staying in one spot too long. Just making it nice and even now. Just can't go right with it all bumpy like this. That's not gonna do you well. All right, so I wanna show you guys, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. So it's all starting to dry up on this side, but it's a lot more spread out. And then if you look down on this half, you can see it's all clumpy. So basically I'm just taking all these clumps and spreading them around, trying to distribute it a little bit more even so it looks like this side. I don't know if this looks good or bad for uh, other snowboarders, but this is what I'm uh, dealing with right now. All right, so I zoomed in on this side so I can show you guys a little bit closer. So I'm just slowly taking the iron over it and I'm just, I don't know, moving it back and forth, trying to like flatten all the wax down into a better spot, but try not to stay in the same spot for too long, I guess. So like trying to get these sides too over here, trying to make this nice and flat to all the corners, all the edges, kind of spreading it with the iron while it's heating it, it's kind of helping, you know, flat, like self-leveling almost. I'm just kind of working all the way down the sides. All right, guys, big thing though, I'm going to let this wax cool down for uh, about 30 minutes here. So in the meantime, I'm gonna just kind of talk to you guys. I'm not gonna talk to you guys for 30 minutes straight, but big plans for 2023 coming up uh, a lot of cool plans for the cars hopefully um the bmw as of right now strap harness bar harnesses seats turbo kit is what i'm really banking on coilovers that's like the main plan for the car I'm not gonna worry about angle kit yet until i can actually start getting good at drifting a lot of people said it's better to learn without an angle kit and then get the angle kit when you know you need it the sti slowly going to be grabbing parts to start building the motor so that's the idea right now um i don't have too many crazy plans except for a lot of track time hopefully is the goal you know uh the track that i go to it's a hundred dollars a day so it's gonna be kind of hard to get there you know a couple times a week but I'm sure the more i go the better i get with the uh, track people the better we are off so as of right now that's what i got it's gonna be a great year hopefully a lot of moves as uh youtuber goal kind of thing thousand subscribers by six month period so june end of june coming into july that's that's a big goal is a thousand subscribers seems like a lot but it's really not that many people you know thousand people went to my senior graduation so we can do that guys end of the year it's a big goal two thousand subscribers something 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 to reach for but let's get back into the board business all right guys, it's been about 25 minutes. It is a little chillier out here, so I'm thinking that might help with this. Uh, just did like a little test test patch. Wax is flaking pretty good, so let's uh, see what it looks like. Yeah, by the way, you wanna be doing this in like a 45 degree angle from what I was reading, so just. So right now I'm just trying to make everything as smooth as I can. It said when you're heating it up with the iron, the board will actually mostly absorb the wax that it needs. 
So I'm just trying to make sure everything seems flat and level. So like there's some bumpy spots right here. So I'm just trying to like smooth everything out. I can definitely tell that the board did take a pretty good layer of wax in it. Now I'm just getting rid of pretty much the top layer. Okay, so this is what I'm looking like. You can see the bevels, but like some of these aren't too crazy. Like they're just very, very small. Um, like the sides were kind of difficult. The My edges are just destroyed. So like it just looks horrendous. So I'm just going to do like one more good pass with the scraper. Then I'm going to come hit it with this like medium nylon kind of brush. Just do circles is what it said to help kind of smooth and refine everything. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna probably just wipe it down. I don't know if I'll use the glass cleaner now um, since that is like alcohol based kind of thing. So I'll probably just use some like non-alcohol solvent or something and uh, just clean it up. Finished product. Thinking three out of 10 is what I did. But seriously guys, I hope you guys like a little bit of a mix of content because I do more than just car stuff. I don't want my channel to be strictly car stuff because that's not who I am. It's not only what I do. I do have multiple hobbies, but next step on this thing is gonna be testing it up in the mountains. Hopefully that's coming up here soon with the uh, nice spring weather, but hope all you guys had a lovely new year and have hot, had, uh, had happy holidays for uh, everything else. So I hope you guys like this stuff. Please comment, like, subscribe. Let's get to at least a thousand subscribers by June, 2000 by the end of the year. Let's start this new year off strong. Let's jump into a, a little bit of a Japan vlog for you guys. A little bit of B-roll. See what's going down in uh, that area. And uh, other than that, I'll catch you guys next week. Peace. What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Mikey. And you're probably wondering what I am doing here. Well, uh, Jared's giving me the reins for the camera for a little bit. I'm going to be starting a little bit of a montage for my Tokyo trip. Um, it is currently... 3.33 a.m. on December 26th, and uh, I'm just going to throw you guys a little montage for the first half of my trip, hopefully the first uh, first week plus the day of traveling out there, plus it is a long 16-hour journey, so come join me, let's go. walking a whole bunch i think i'm on like 12,000 steps or something like that just looking at the cars underneath the garage got a nice little alfa romeo nardo gray gti little miata and uh sorry i didn't wrap up that first day a whole lot of stuff going on but that's day two for you right there about to go up have another few beers go to bed so i'll catch you guys later on mm -hmm. 